coronavirus. You know, it's the thing you are pretty sure you had in February, but actually didn't. The world is now deep into the second wave of this pandemic, or maybe the third wave, or the fourth. I don't know. At this point, COVID has so many waves, it's like those pools at the amusement park, which are also big spreaders of exotic disease. And after doing a little better over the past few months, unfortunately, the U.S. shows no signs of getting out of the pool. The new explosion of cases in the coronavirus crisis, if you heard this, the U.S. reported a record-shattering number of new infections. For the first time, all 50 states reported an increase in cases. Shocking seven-day averages in Kansas at 41 percent, Iowa at 48 percent, South Dakota at a astonishing 54 percent. New restrictions are about to go into effect in New York State. Beginning tomorrow, all bars and restaurants must close for dining at 10 p.m. Gyms must also close at 10 p.m. And all private gatherings must be limited to 10 people or less. A passenger on board the first cruise to set sail in the Caribbean since March reportedly testing positive for the coronavirus. All passengers were tested before boarding, but on Tuesday, one felt sick and tested positive. All guests are now quarantining in their rooms. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Why are they having cruises during a pandemic? But I actually think that there should be more cruises. In fact, I think there should be free cruises for anyone who wants one because those are the people who love spreading the virus. It's better to just get them all on boats and put them safely in the middle of the ocean and then leave them there for six months. If Corona doesn't get them, the buffet will. Good riddance, Joe! And best believe, there are a lot of people who are gonna pretend to be angry that gyms are closed, but really, deep down inside, they're happy because people love having a reason to not work out. I mean, not me. Like, yesterday, I was planning to work out, but then I had to cancel because I think I, like, got a cramp in my earlobe. I just don't wanna risk it. But to put it all in perspective, in some states, the coronavirus positivity rate is around 50% right now. So if you live in South Dakota or Iowa, Look at the person to your left. Now look at the person to your right. Why are you sitting between two people? You're gonna get coronavirus! So yes, coronavirus is getting worse and worse as the winter months arrive. And with things spiraling out of control just in time for the holidays, the CDC has issued new guidelines for how families can have a safe Thanksgiving, to which some families are saying, mind your own goddamn business. Experts say half of all Americans plan to travel for the holiday, going against those new CDC guidelines, which recommend celebrating Thanksgiving virtually or only with people in your own household and preferably outside. For indoor dinners, the CDC says keep the windows open, spread out as much as possible, and wear masks. How about Christmas? What are we going to do for Christmas now? We lost the summer, now we're going to lose Thanksgiving. I mean, we, you know, you and I are both Italian, telling Italians not to get together on the holidays is pretty Pretty tough. Honestly, I know it seems irresponsible, but I think it is great for people to gather during a pandemic to celebrate Thanksgiving. Yeah, because isn't that what Thanksgiving is all about? Spreading a disease that wipes out a continent? I'm actually surprised Republicans still want Thanksgiving this year. I mean, after Joe Biden won, can you imagine what Thanksgiving is gonna be like? Their millennial nieces and nephews are gonna be showing up like they own the place. He's gonna be walking around like, damn, these mashed potatoes are disappearing faster than your Second Amendment rights, Uncle Steve. Ha <laughs> ha!